Yeah, that was a very interesting uh, stay here in uh, Dankar. Definitely our hike to the lake was awesome. Uh, but it's time to leave. And let's go to Mood, the Pin National Valley Park. <laughs> let's do it, let's do it. So, this time we make a move. Let me just quickly add. For sure. Well, let's do it. Two hours to ride. It's showing ETA as 356. So let's try and get there by 4 at least. Because they, although they show two hours on the mountains. Sometimes because of bad roads, uh, takes a little more than that. What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Jim, you are watching Jim Travels the World and this is the 10th episode of the Spiti Circuit. In today's ride, we are going from Dhankar to Mud Village in Pen Valley. Now the roads going from Dhankar to Pin Valley is quite an adventure and today is the day we get our first taste of off-roading. Now once we come down the mountain from Dhankar the roads are pretty decent here and there but at this point it's uh, not so good. It is quite a struggle but uh, it's manageable, it's not the worst of the roads. Now from this point we are, uh, we are at a point where we, if we go straight we reach to Kaza. There's a bridge coming up ahead right now. Uh, you need to take a left to go to uh, Pin Valley. Now when I say Pin Valley, Mud Village is the gateway to Pin Valley. We are just going to Mud Village and uh, just coming back. This is just a one day trip and uh, we just want you to visit, see what Mud is like because this is my first time in the region and I'm really excited to be here. Now from this point exactly, it's around 33 to 34-ish kilometer, but here's the catch. It's complete off-roading from here. There are no roads till we reach Mud Village. Now we were quite excited and happy to do a little bit of off-roading, but it just feels like a never-ending road. The views are insane. You're gonna enjoy every bit of the, uh, the ride but uh, it starts getting difficult your back starts hurting your arms start hurting and because this was my first time doing off-roading uh, it felt quite challenging it's not the worst because um, as we go ahead you'll see in more videos the type of off-roading i did obviously that was worse but uh, this was our first real taste of what off-roading feels like uh, some parts of the road were pretty decent others were okay-ish uh, I've been told that the government is working on it and they'll hopefully uh, get the road done in the next one or two years. But uh, we keep going on the road, we'll see a lot of uh, rollers and uh, trucks that are bringing raw material. So they are working on it, they just don't know when the roads will be ready. And another thing is, uh, during uh, during uh, winters, uh, Pin Valley is inaccessible, you cannot come here. So people who live there, uh, they have to bring all their supplies for food and everything and, and store it because uh, yeah, this road is not usable during winters. And the only thing close as, as for a market or anything else is Kaza or Dhankar. Not even Dhankar actually, Kaza. So if they need something, they have to go to Kwaza, which is quite far, like 50-ish kilometers from Mud, a little more than that. The village we are going to, it's quite beautiful, but uh, it's a challenge to get there and get out. Now another important thing is, this place has zero network, especially Mud village. Your sims are not going to work. Uh, six kilometers before, six, seven kilometers before Mud at one spot, BSNL works, the locals know about it and that's where I actually called 
Kanika from because uh, there is no coverage over here. I didn't want to freak anybody out. So yeah, that's what's up with this place. Now we got a couple of kilometers left from this point. We will cross the bridge and then we go. Uh, we take a right. There is a small village over there, and uh, yeah, we stopped there to have some snacks and chai. So yeah, yeah, let's go. Okay, we stick. We took a stop at uh, this point. This is gorgeous. We were so tired because of the bad roads, and now we got a bad tea. <laughs> anyway, we got some Maggie, kurkure, pani, pani, and all. And chai. Let's go. Let's have this. Yes, the chai was terrible, but the lady who manages or runs this place, she was very nice. Uh, she was very helpful uh, our sim cards were not working at that point but she had a phone that had cell coverage so i quickly uh, made a call back home and let them know that i was fine and yeah, i think at this point in this village you get coverage over here i'm not sure where because uh, we didn't have a sim card that works here so that's all i know but yeah once you enter if you have a normal sim card it will not work in this region so yeah another few kilometers left till we reach uh what you can see me doing is uh, stand on my bike i do that uh one when my back starts hurting and i need to stretch my legs and second when there is uh, a patch of bad road i stand up because then uh, during off roading the pressure doesn't come on my bike when we go through really bad roads uh my my knees are used like a suspension and they take all the jerks so there we are another few kilometers and we'll be there in mood village <laughs> We have made it to our stay. This is the Mud Homestay in Pin Valley. It's a part of Homestays of India. The ride was not so good, but the valley, very beautiful as you saw in the ride. Even our view from here is just epic. Let me show you. Look at this view. Insane. And there's a glacier view as well. Ah, there. Right now, the struggle we are facing, big time, is in Pin Valley. There is no network, not even BSNL doesn't work, and we have to go like six, seven kilometers down that way. 
No, I just wanted to let Kanika know, and Ashutosh wants to let his mother know that we are safe and fine here. Because I can understand if there is no network coverage and the family members are trying to get in touch with us, they'll really freak out. Because I mean, to be fair, uh, bike rides in this kind in this uh, part of the world is dangerous. It's not the safest. The roads are bad. and uh uh yeah so we just trying to find a phone that can help us just connect to the family so we're trying to go to uh 60 kilometers in another village and over there we'll get to tell them that we're okay so if you're coming to pin valley there is no network bsnl works but until some point but then only phone call no internet and if you are getting jio vodafone airtel anything they are not going to work so a big huge tip keep in mind before coming here so mr ashutosh is going with uh, kamlesh the owner ha huh? <laughs> so they are going to make a phone call 6 kilometers away from here all the best aaram se stay safe <laughs> कॉल करके नंबर बट अगर नहीं भी होता तो ठीक है बिकॉज उन्होंने बोल दिया है सो कमलेश इज गोइंग विद आशुतोष देन ही मेक अ कॉल होम टू मेक श्योर दैट दे नो दैट आई एम फाइन इट्स गोन टेक वन आवर ऑफ बैक एंड फोर्थ सो या All right while uh, Ashutosh is going to let our family know we are okay I'm going to quickly give you the room and the homestay tour now this is the Mud homestay in Pin Valley and if you are planning to visit Mud this homestay is a fantastic choice it was established in 2004 just a year after the road first reached the village it holds the unique distinction of being the very first homestay here in the pin valley the rooms here are cozy and comfortable offering all the basics you need for a relaxed stay plus the view is something else snow capped peaks and stunning pin valley landscape right outside your window now it's it's not just the scenery that makes this place special the homestay has a welcoming vibe thanks to the local family that runs it you'll get to experience traditional home cooked meals uh, which add to the charm of staying in a remote village whether you're exploring pin valley national park or just looking to disconnect and relax this homestay is a perfect retreat now obviously we had a great time relaxing here at the homestay but what made it special a little, little bit more special was at night when the lights went out we were surrounded by thousands of stars and we got our first galaxy photo from this trip check this out Uh, dinner is ready. Looks like we got chicken. That's not for you. This is your. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mr. Ashutosh is vegetarian. Dal to mujhe nahi khani nahi hai. Mere ko fir wah. Achhi ho jaye. Kya kada halat? Kal ki ride. फिर से ऐसी हो जाएगा सो वी कैन वॉश एंड कीप इट आल्सो और फिर मेरे साथ आ जाओ फोर हंड्रेड है थोड़ा संभाल के बहुत पैर को लगता है
Now the next day in the morning we had a quick breakfast and we went for a short around 7 to 8 kilometers of ride ahead of Mud village. Now there is no proper road but uh, it's like uh, it's like off-roading but a little bit of dirty off-roading. Uh, but it's a pretty good ride because the views are absolutely insane. It's untouched, not a lot of people go there. Because from here, from this point, uh, there are two treks you can do, the Baba Pass and uh, another pass, I forgot the name. So you do two treks from here uh, or you, you can end it over here. So at this point, uh, you, you will actually see a lot of trekkers finishing or starting their treks. So riding with me today is the owner of the homestay. Uh, he wanted to show us around. Uh, he was hoping that we would stay here for at least two days, but we just had one night planned. So that was it. We couldn't do much. So he at least showed, okay, let, let's go ahead. Let me show you that point. It's amazing. And he was like, all right, let's go there. And uh, yeah, we agreed. And here we are. And uh, it's a pretty off-road. Uh, the views are amazing. And the ride is short. But... I want to show you the view once we get there. This view is absolutely amazing. Watch this. All right, friends. The name of this place is Larbhang. This is eight kilometers away from uh, Mood Village in the Pin Valley. Now there are multiple treks that go from here, the Pin Parvati Pass, the Baba Pass. So if you're coming to Mood Village, uh, to Mood Village, definitely consider staying for at least two days, one day to relax at the property and uh, one day just trek and come. You can even bring your bike or car as you can see, the car as well. It's a lot of off-roading, eight kilometers of pure off-roading. If you're up for it, do it because, come on guys, look at this view. I don't want to get this anywhere. No, unless you trek a lot. So, so this is an easy trek. It will be an eight kilometers. We took a bike because we have to go to Casa now. We we had to do it quick. That's why we came here. That was it from this video guys i hope you have enjoyed the touring with me here in mud village and if you do want to come check out this property you can find it on homestays of india as mud homestay so i hope you guys have enjoyed this video do like comment share and subscribe to my channel i'll see you in my next video